Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I'm uh, at the coin shop. I'm gonna be seeing if I want to uh, sell or trade this set of coins. So it's nice, uh, the, one of the reasons I got this RAV4 is because it's a perfect holder for <laughs> this set of coins. That just happens to work out nice, that shelf. Anyway, um, so yeah, I got this in trade and back when I got this, I was just looking at the silver content. There's 10 ounces in here. Um, and I wanted to bring it today to a coin shop to see if he was interested in purchasing or trading because this really takes up a lot of room it's physically a lot of bulk um it's a beautiful set it's from uh, royal canadian mint it's from 1988 um and they're actually dated i think 87 the coins but this is the calgary set so it's showing all the winter olympics and stuff of course we have the queen on the back actually this one's 86 i think it's 86 and 87 um but yeah, uh, R.I.P., the queen. But they show, I mean, they're beautiful coins. Each one's physically larger than, oh, the guy's upside down, so <laughs> that's how the coin looks. They're physically larger than an ounce, but it has an ounce of silver in it. We have writing on the rims. They're just beautiful, perfectly new. New set, everything's pristine. I have the COA, have all the little, you know, packets talking about each sport and stuff. Um, so I'm into this at probably maybe 250 bucks. Uh, as of the filming of this video today, silver is at $19. It went back up to 19. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, obviously this has a premium as a set of coins. I don't know if he'll offer just melt for it or maybe he'll trade. Really, I'd be happy with getting like a 10 ounce bar back. There's 10 ounces in here. There's more of a premium on it. So it's worth more than melt, but obviously the guy has to make money on it. So we'll see. But that's, those are kind of my expectations. I may or may not you know, go through with a deal today if I'm not happy with it, but that's about, you know, what I want to get. I want to get a 10 ounce bar or two five ounce bars or, or 10 ounces in total. I don't really care, you know, how that happens. I think a 10 ounce bar is the cheapest because that's the least premium on it, but we will see. But I want to show this in detail first, just in case if you didn't want me to film inside or something, or didn't want to talk about it inside, I um, wanted to show you the before. What's going on guys? So I am in Oliphant, Pennsylvania. I'm at Alan's Coins. So, Alan was very generous to uh, let me do this video. So we're gonna go in, check out the shop real quick. How's it going, Alan? Going on, Jeff? I'm showing everyone your uh, shop real quick. I mean, I could spend hours doing videos on everything, but I wanna give people just a quick idea that you have a ton of variety. Yeah, some really, really cool stuff. Amazing prices, by the way. Silver dollars, like silver dollars. People are really, really into the junk silver or constitutional silver. And some of the stuff I know is going for a lot more online. So you might have someone come in and clean you out, which I'm sure you wouldn't mind all that much. <laughs> and you even have your own bars, which are really, really cool. Kilos, 10 ounce bars, and a ton of different stuff. Variety, try to take care of everybody. It's really cool. And I was talking about the gold before. I'm really digging the gold. Ooh, that's hard to hold on to. Yeah, you're saying. So, this is Alan. You want to tell everyone the uh, address here? 414 Lackawanna Avenue, all of it. Okay. Easy number to remember 570489 coin or 2646 if you don't know. Oh, very easy. And it's right there, too. So yeah, so I came in today. I was looking to maybe sell or trade this Calgary set. Now, what were you telling me about this? Well, this is a very common set. This is an Olympic set. Yeah. There's my phone, too. <laughs> you want to answer it? You can come there, back. If there's an Olympic set, yeah, let me answer that. All right, so sure. Miss sure, we'll be back. All right, we're back. So we're talking about this uh, Canadian set here. Um, I was originally coming in. See, I got this in trade. I do a lot of knife trading and stuff, mm -hmm. and someone wants some knives, and I always want silver, so they offer me this. Um, but what were you telling me before about these sets? The Calvary, the 88 Olympic sets are kind of common in the U.S. They're not very collectible in the U.S. either, so usually they sell a little bit over their melt value. <coughs> Excuse okay. me. If you go on eBay, they go a little higher, but if you're paying the fees and you're selling on eBay, you're going to get yeah. the same. Yeah, you're not getting anywhere near yeah, that. It's, yeah, it's not... It's good, good investment if you're buying it close to silver price. Yeah, that sounds good. I don't know what kind of trade you did, but that's a, if you made out, I don't know. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, for this set, and I do like your offer, but I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to wait for spot to go up. 
and might come back and maybe sell it for, for milk. Yeah, they're very sensitive to milk price. Yeah, yeah. Very sensitive. But I am getting something today. You have a ton of stuff that I wanted. There's your 86 Eagle. That's what you want. Alan was able to go in the deep, dark depths of the uh, reserve and find me an 86. And uh, this is going to uh, fill a hole in a collection. So we're going to uh, do a video on that in the future. But there's actually something else I saw over here. In this case, I saw you had some love tokens. I thought those were pretty neat. I actually have a gold one right now, too. It's not out. Oh, yeah? Well, I got really into the hard time tokens, and uh, I don't have a love token yet, but I thought it'd be kind of cool. And I'm trying to think which one, which one are you I want here. I don't know. It's tough. Different ones. This one here, this one here is a foreign one. Okay. That's a foreign love token. Pretty I'm interesting. Hmm. This one here is on a racketeer nickel. Pretty cool. If you look on the back, you'll see. And this is a seat at Liberty Quarter. Yeah, pretty cool. And this one here is, oh, Barbara Dunn. Very nice. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get both of these. These are cool. I may even come back and... Yeah, as they're I, hard to find. This is here, here's hard to find. Racketeer nickels are, that's a nickel. They, they colored them gold to make them look like a fighter or gold piece. Yeah. But it's actually a nickel. It's not a gold piece. That's pretty neat. I actually do have a gold piece with the love token, but it's... It's not a racketeer nickel, actually. It's okay. Cool. That's good. <laughs> anyway. I just think they're neat. Like I said, I'm, I'm really into the hard time tokens, but um, I'm really starting to like the uh, the love tokens. So I am. I'm going to get both of these today. Yeah, sounds good. All right. So we're going to wrap everything up here. And I just want to say thanks again. Anyone who's even remotely interested in uh, both uh, numismatic coins or bullion, you got to come down and check out Allen's. Thanks, so that's all. We'll I'll see you later. All right, guys, so I am home now. Just want to do kind of an outro here because I kind of finished that video quickly because a customer was coming in. So first off, um, I've been to Allen's Coin Shop probably three or four times. Uh, every time I went there, I bought something. I was very happy with his prices. And of course, the variety, he does have a little of everything. Anything you're looking for, there's a good chance he has it there. Um, what I want to do was I want to go down and just you know showcase the shop a little bit. There's a lot of locals and even people who are within like an hour's drive that would make the drive down there for the variety and for his prices. So uh, just like I've done before for other small business, I just, I really love supporting small business. I have to say, I have to give a huge shout out, by the way, to Spectacular uh, here on YouTube. If you have not uh, checked out his uh, channel, it's definitely worth looking at. Uh, very awesome videos. And he is the creator or inventor of the coin shop interview video. So uh, I want to say like maybe a year ago, possibly a little longer than that. Uh, I saw one of Spectacular's videos and he did an interview with Coin Guy down in, uh, I believe, Florida. And uh, it was such an intriguing video. It was just awesome because it's just a couple guys talking coins. But because you're in a coin shop, you know, there's obviously a massive variety that's on, uh, you know, in showcase. So you can talk about things and show things. And I've always really just appreciated that, enjoyed that. Um, and, you know, his idea of making that style of video spread very quickly in the, you know, uh, coin community, let's just say. Uh, there's a lot of channels that do that because it's very fun and interesting. Um, so although I didn't want to like start a whole series doing that kind of stuff, I did want to feature this particular shop because not only is it great to support these small businesses, but oftentimes you get better prices going in person. You never have to obviously worry about shipping. And one of the big things too, uh, I talked about this with knives, like when I did a video at JT's Knife Shop, which uh, I'm going to be going to again, hopefully before winter hits. I still have plans to go to, uh, check out his uh, shop again. Uh, possibly make another video but um the idea is that when you can see things in person it's just totally different you might be interested in something and, and you, you really want it but you're just looking at internet pictures it's totally different being in that environment where you can pick it up hold it in your hand look at it in person um the no shipping cost is obviously a bonus uh, some things online you obviously don't have to pay shipping for if you're buying precious metals uh in bulk obviously a lot of the uh, dealers offer free shipping but maybe you don't want to buy in bulk Maybe you don't want to spend $200. Maybe you just want to buy one coin for 10 bucks or five bucks or 20 bucks. You know what I mean? So not only seeing it in person, having all that variety, uh, not having to worry about shipping is awesome. And obviously getting it right then and there, you know, sometimes you buy stuff and maybe you're a little impatient. You got to wait a week for it to ship out. But, uh, but yeah, I just always had the idea ever since I first discovered his shop, I always thought like, you know, I really want to go back and make a video. And I went back there, um, 
and I kind of sprung it on him. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just kind of walked in and said, hey, I got a YouTube channel, I love the film. And so like, I didn't really give him a lot of time uh, to really even think about it. Uh, so I, I really just, I, I have to say, I appreciate Alan for allowing me to do that because I like to expose these businesses because I think that there's tons of people that would love to shop there and they just don't know it exists. I talked to at least two people that within, you know, that live probably within five miles from me um, that had no idea they existed. And he, his shop is, it's less than an hour away, but it's not around the block. It's not, you know, it's my local coin shop. I got to use air quotes there, but it's not local. I don't have anything local to me. I live in the woods. Now it's local enough to me. I shop in Dixon City all the time when I want to do like larger grocery shopping. There's a Sam's Club down there. Um, there's a, an Aldi's a grocery store. There's a Wegmans. So like, you know, if I'm doing big grocery shopping, I'll make the trip out there and I make my time count. So when I'm out there, I do other things in the area, you know, because obviously gas prices are still pretty high um, and no one likes to waste money. So when I'm out and about, I try to multitask. Um, but Allen Shop's awesome. Uh, I do want to start going there more often. I've been buying a lot online just for the convenience of sitting in my living room or when I'm doing something else, if I'm editing a video, I can kind of, you know, look down or waiting for something to process, I can look down and, you know, order stuff on the internet. But there, there's nothing that can replace physically going into a store, looking at stuff and buying it. Plus, uh, Allen, like a lot of different coin shop uh, owners, uh, is, are extremely knowledgeable. You can sit there and pick their brain and talk coins and, you know, talk history, it's just, it, it's cool. It's a really cool experience. Um, and I just wanted to showcase that. That was the whole point of uh, of this video, was just to say, hey, he's there. And he has an awesome customer base. I mean, there's people coming and going. That's what made it kind of difficult to film as well, because I don't I don't want to film customers. I don't even want to ask customers, hey, do you want to be in a video? It's just awkward. Like, you know, I, I'm a YouTuber. I do YouTube stuff. I don't care about videos. It's it's so natural to me. But if, you, if I just walk into a random store, like a clothing store and someone's like, hey, you know, I'm making a YouTube video, you want to be in it? I don't know, it's just, it seems random, you know what I mean? So I don't want to pressure anyone who's just going there to look at some coins or bars or whatever they're doing uh, into uh, having to be on, on camera. So it was it was difficult. Um, I would have liked to made a, a much longer video, but like I said, customers were coming and going. Uh, perhaps in the future, if you guys have interest and, and Alan's okay with it, I'd love to go back again and uh, and just talk coins. I mean. Before and after I turned the camera on for this video, we were talking coins and stuff, and it's just, it's, it's awesome to have that, those conversations, and he broke out a really, really beautiful album of, uh, of slabbed Morgans. I mean, really, really cool stuff. If you guys are into uh, all the actual collectible coins, if you have collections and you want to fill different holes and stuff, uh, he's got it. He has such a variety of stuff. Um, it really is awesome. But anyway, so as for this uh, um, silver set, uh, you guys heard it in the video. Um, it's just one of those things where, you know, in, in the U.S., Canadian collectibles, and that's what it is, a Canadian collectible, is just not as popular. Getting it online, obviously, there's a lot more people who are interested. These do regularly sell for around $300 as a collectible set on eBay. So it's a little bit tough for me to, you know, want to sell it for Melt. I totally understand his, um, you know, his perspective and his side of things. Uh, in fact, that would be very common. Uh, and that's a conversation that a lot of people have uh, is, you know, you're buying and you're paying premiums on a lot of different things. But when you go to coin shops, I'm not saying this is just just Allen's, just in general, a lot of times, you know, for certain collectibles, they're just not that popular. They might sit in the shelf for, for a few years. They just want to, you know, buy it for milk. That's all, you know, and they're not making much money on it by doing that. But the idea um, is to convert that for the melt price and then maybe have, you know, send it off to... Uh, uh, somewhere to be melted. In Alan's case, he makes his own bars, which is really cool, you know, uh, which by the way, I want. I want one of Alan's coin shop bars. Um, so I'll probably go in the future and I'll get one of his uh, uh, 10 ounce bars. Um, that's definitely on my list. He also had a couple other things there I was very interested in. Um, I'm not going to say it right now because if you guys go down there, you might want to buy it too. Uh, but that's okay. First come, first serve, right? Uh, but yeah, I just I want to say a, just a huge thank you to uh, to Alan for allowing me to film in there And again, just exposing uh, some of the stuff that he has to uh, to offer He does have some really awesome prices on a ton of stuff So hopefully if you guys are local or willing to make a drive you'll check it out uh, Again, here's his uh, information there now as far as what I bought um, You guys will see a video on this I already put the uh, Silver Eagle in a uh, little holder here So I'll do a separate video on that uh, I already put the love tokens away. They're gone too. I have like a little album with just some random coins and stuff. And well, really not coins so much as tokens.
because as I mentioned in the, uh, the video, um, I very much got into um, collecting different types of hard time tokens. And I thought that was really neat, and I always kind of wanted the love uh, tokens as well. It's just, it's just a cool piece of history. That was the, the promise ring of the day. You liked the girl, you were serious about it, you take some pocket change, you know, you, uh, you engrave the back with her initials and, and you gave it to her. And that was like a big thing, you know, it's a keepsake. It was, uh, it was definitely just a little part of, uh, of history, you know, human history and of course coin history. So I think it was super cool and uh, his prices were definitely more than right. Um, on those, uh, both those um, low tokens are 90% silver, just super cool. It was actually the uh, first, uh, I believe it was the first date of issue for the um, uh, Barber Dime. And uh, the seated quarter, I don't even have a seated quarter in my collection, so I thought that was pretty cool too. Uh, Liberty, I think it's a Liberty seated quarter. But uh, but yeah, so I mean, I was very happy to pick those up, like I said, already away in the collection. So I will hold on to, uh, to this guy um, until either spot goes up enough, um, or I like to kind of say, it's almost like a shame because collectibles like this, I mean, if I just had these, if I just had like a pile of the, of the rounds, I wouldn't care, it wouldn't be a big deal. The fact that it has the holder, the original paperwork, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, something to consider is in the coin world, it's just millions and millions and millions and millions of things that were made to collect, you know? And not all of them have that collector's value like they used to. You know, back when this came out in Canada, yeah, it was a bee's knees, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, people who collect stuff like this, they get older, and then you have generations that pass away, and, and the new generations coming up, they just don't have as much interest in stuff like this, you know? It's almost like a thing of the past. So, it's just one of those things, you know? But it'd be, it'd be tough to just sell it for melt, knowing it's gonna get melt, melted down and destroyed, but hey, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? At least it'd be uh, recycled. That's what's cool about silver, is it doesn't matter about the packaging. The silver will always be around, no matter what form it's in. It could be melted into a bar and then melted again in the future to, you know, make different rounds or who knows what. But uh, anyway, so uh, that's pretty much it. Just again, I wanted to have like more of an explanation here. <laughs> if, if the video felt like a little rushed, uh, I just didn't want to uh, pressure any customers uh, into, you know, having to be on video or whatever, or be quiet while I'm making a video. You know, he's still running a business, so I'm the intruder there. And like I said, I did kind of spring it on him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just I want to say thanks to uh, to him specifically, and again thanks to Spectacular just for the idea. Um, uh, you know, I've always uh, appreciated uh, that he made those uh, coin shop videos and made that a popular thing. I thought it was just really neat because all the different uh, channels I watch, they talk to their local dealers, and every dealer has their own personality and stuff, and they're all you know pretty knowledgeable about uh, the products that they sell and, and passionate. And I definitely felt that uh, with Alan, he was just passionate about what he does. And I think that's awesome. And to go into a shop like that, I mean, it's an adult candy store. It's literally, it, and by the way, you know, being in, in Oliphant and being like in this historic little downtown area, it feels like an old school candy store. But instead of candy and sweets, you have money and cool coins, you know? And he has a little bit of everything. I might go back for uh, some gold as well in the future. I'm really, really focused on pre-33 gold. Uh, obviously, there's a, a premium on that stuff. And... Uh, but, you know, I, I'm constantly bouncing around. I have so many different interests when it comes to precious metals. But, but yeah, I'm definitely going back. There's one particular thing I have my eye on, which I'm not mentioning in this video. And hopefully when I have some, uh, some money to pick it up, I'll go back and be able to do that. And if that's the case, I'll, I'll make another video on it. But anyway, that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you have an awesome day. Uh, let me know if you go to your local coin dealer. Uh, if you don't, like if you never really thought about it and you're kind of getting into precious metals and stuff and... You know, it's an interesting thought. Just just Google it. There's things all around you you never knew existed. You might have grown up and lived in a, a town or a city your entire life and had no idea three miles down the road is some shop that you might have interest in. Sometimes it's just cool to go on Google Maps, type in your address or whatever, and just blow out the pitch, you know what I'm saying? Like just zoom out and look around and see what's around you. There's so many different stores that might literally be down the block from you. You just don't even know there. And there are places that you want to shop and, and give... Uh, you know, your money into these small businesses and support them. So as much as it's nice to just be convenient and like, you know, order some coins while you're taking your, your morning routine in the, on the throne, <laughs> I don't want to be too graphic, but you know what I'm saying? We, we're all just sitting there, beep, boop, boop, boop on our, our phones, you know? Uh, but uh, sometimes we forget to get out and, and live life and go out and go to stores. So much shopping is done online. Everything is just shipped to our door. Uh, but there's nothing like walking into a shop like that and just being overwhelmed with all the cool stuff and, and again be able to talk to a person and get the history on things and just get pumped about it and uh and make a purchase and really appreciate it you know it's nice when things have a story attached to them i appreciate that always 
So this 1986 um, beautiful American Silver Eagle has a story attached to it. You know, this I'll always think of Alan's coin shop when I see this coin. All right. So anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.